Chicago Blackhawks president of hockey operations, Stan Bowman, has resigned after investigators released their findings on how the Blackhawks handled sexual assault allegations against former video coach Brad Aldrich during the 2010 Stanley Cup run. Senior Director of Hockey Administration Al McIsaac is also out, which means there are no Blackhawk executives involved with the 2010 Stanley Cup team remaining with the organization. According to a lawsuit filed in May of 2021 by an unidentified former Blackhawk player, John Doe, Aldrich sexually assaulted him and another player during the 2010 Stanley Cup playoff run. The report is both disturbing and difficult to read. It speaks for itself. Rocky and our leadership team reviewed the report. and We have had important and difficult conversations about how our organization will move forward. The Blackhawks own sexual harassment policy, which required investigation of all reports of sexual harassment to be conducted promptly and thoroughly was violated. I believe one of the beautiful parts of our game is the focus on team success over individual achievements and accolades. But that cannot come at the expense of individual safety and well being. It is clear that in 2010, the executives of this organization put team performance above all else. John Doe deserves better from the Blackhawks. The NHL also announced today the Blackhawks have been fined $2 million for the organization's inadequate internal procedures and insufficient and untimely response in the handling of matters related to former video coach Brad Aldrich's employment with the club and ultimate departure in 2010. Much more detail on ESPN.com. Mark Messier, Chris Chelios here with me now. Chelly, you played nine years in Chicago, won two of your Norris trophies as a member of the Chicago family. This has got to break your heart a little bit. Yeah, it's a terrible day, obviously, for the Hawks organization. Um, and these poor kids or you know, the kid that had to go through this. No one should have to go through that. Um, just by watching some of the press clips, listening to Stan Bowman, um, the truth will come out. You know, things that happen behind closed doors, we don't have access to see that review or investigation yet. Um, but it will come out. And I think, you know, Danny Wirtz made a strong, you know, statement there saying that they will be transparent. The truth will come out. And hopefully, you know, this will get resolved and people can move on with their lives. Mark, you're all about leadership, and obviously there was a failure of leadership here back in 2010. Uh, where do you go from here? Uh, it's going to be tough. I'm, I'm relieved that Danny Wirtz stood up and uh, took full responsibility mm -hmm. is making the necessary uh, decisions in order to move forward. I, I think the thing that's most disturbing for me personally is that the perpetrator was able to go on and to another organization to do the same thing again. I think that's a, a failure in leadership from every perspective. It's what disgusts everybody about the whole situation and uh, it's just a bad situation, and uh, and hopefully we can get to the bottom of it, and uh, and and the right decisions are made. Right, I think that's the word that sums it up: disgust. The whole thing is uh, truly disgusting.